I can't vouch for all of you, but I'm pretty certain that most of you suffer from that sort of work-life balance thing. You know, kids, gym, bit of work, some adult socialising, hopefully. And what happens is the sort of creativity linked to midweek meals just sort of disappears. So it becomes a bit of a rinse and repeat with midweek meals. So I thought perhaps for the first episode of the new season, we should look at some old favourites and do some new things. First on today's menu are sweet chilli pork rashes and a noodle stir-fry. They're the perfect example of how to really zhuzh up an everyday pork supper. So to prepare them, you're going to need pork rashes and egg noodles, soy sauce, sweet chilli sauce and Chinese five spice powder, lemon juice, ginger and garlic, and pak choy, mange too, green beans and carrots, and coriander and fresh limes to serve. I'm a bit of a fan of a pork rasher, actually. Well, for a couple of reasons. One, they're incredibly affordable. In fact, I think that pork has become probably the most affordable meat on the market at the moment. Thank goodness it's so versatile, so it gives you a lot of things to do with it. So I'm starting with a load of ginger here, which I'm grating because it's the easiest thing to do. You can, of course, chop it. I've got a large garlic clove, so I'm gonna grate that too. Again, you can chop it. So pork, as I was saying, is particularly delicious, particularly versatile. And in some areas, you can get free-range pork, which makes one feel a bit better about life in general. But that, of course, is up to you. Right, so garlic and ginger. Now I'm going to get some five-spice powder, some sweet chilli and some soy. If you didn't have all of these ingredients, I wouldn't get completely hysterical. But I will tell you, the Chinese five-spice has a very particular flavour. It's sort of warm and sweet. It's cinnamon and a bit of nutmeg and some Sichuan pepper, which incidentally isn't hot at all. Then some soy sauce, a couple of tablespoons. Now you could really simplify this in some loads of lovely chilli sauce and just simply use sweet chilli sauce and a bit of lemon. I mean, you don't have to go to all this trouble, but I figure, you know, perking up a little pork rasher. It's a kind thing to do to a pork rasher and for your family as well. Let's get a lemon. So you want to balance, again, sort of the aromatics um, with sweetness from the sweet chilli and then, of course, the lemon. If you want to add a bit of extra fresh chilli to this, feel free. And a bit of salt. Now, not too much salt because you've got the soy sauce already. And let's just give that a bit of a stir. So this is a really good kind of blend of sweet and salty and utterly delicious, really. So I'm going to get the pork rashers. Now, really, essentially, that's just pork belly. So quite forgiving, loves a little marination, but not entirely necessary. And you can overcook it, if you like, because it's got quite a lot of fat in it. And so that makes overcooking OK. In fact, I quite like it when they go a bit crispy. So if you're a morning person, what I recommend is you actually do this. And then you can pop them into the fridge and just let them marinate all day. Makes life so much easier at the end of it. OK, so we pop those over there. And we're going to start with a stir-fry. So quite a simple noodle stir-fry. I suppose you could use rice instead of noodles if you wanted to. Just chop up an onion. I'm going to put this on quickly, just um, to heat up. Obviously, if you heat your pan, you'll use a lot less oil. So just some sliced onion. I'm going to fry this in some canola oil, maybe even coconut oil if you like. I'm going to use a chilli. Now, I do like a little bit of heat in these. The chilies that are slightly bigger are always slightly milder. Now, that's not so they're mild, but they are milder. So I'm not going to remove the seeds, but, you know, if you want to, you can. And then some garlic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slice the garlic rather than sort of chop it very finely. All right, so I'm going to start with the onion, basically because the chilli and the garlic cook a bit faster and they tend to burn, and these are bigger pieces. I mean, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Bigger pieces going first. Grab one of these. Quite a good idea to have a non-stick pan or a non-stick wok. It does make things easier. And also to cook at the highest possible temperature. While those are doing their thing, we may as well just pop the rashers in the oven. So I've just lined this. because Now, do line a pan. I'll tell you why. The stickiness, the sugar in the, um, in the sweet chilli, does tend to stick to the bottom of pans, and if you have to do the washing up, you will not be impressed. Now, I've got a very, very hot oven, sort of 200 degrees, but as I say, you can happily grill them or roast them. And in fact, if pork's not your thing, you could also do them with chicken. That should take sort of, well, again, it depends on this, 
thickness. So anywhere from sort of eight to 20 minutes, I suppose. Okay, that's doing absolutely fine. I'm going to toss in the chili and garlic, and then I'm going to get the other vegetables. So really, the vegetables are up to you, and it also kind of depends on how much time you've got. So you can just buy some really julienne vegetables and cheat entirely. Um, to make things simple, I've actually chosen some, some little fine green beans, and a lovely trick is to get a large knife. Here's one. Don't even open the packet. Just literally slice through, and voila, they've been topped instantly. Just pop those over there. I've got some pak choy. Just halve them, because they sort of wilt to nothing. I'm going to toss in some green beans. These are fine green beans, because they're lovely. But if you've only got the regular beans, just sort of slice them a couple of times on the slant, just to get them a little bit finer. And then I'm going to also just slice the mange too. Okay, and in go your mange too. These take minutes to cook. And some shredded carrots, you can buy it ready done if you like. Some salt, a bit of pepper. But keep this quite simple because the pork is pretty saucy. But if you wanted to, a few sesame seeds, a bit of sesame oil, lemon juice. Actually gonna add the coriander right in here. I'm gonna grab two spoons. The best thing to do is treat this a bit like it's a salad. And while that's heating through, I've got some noodles. Now I've just cooked these already. These are just Chinese egg noodles. And I've done sort of three nests for four people. It's quite a lot of vegetables, so you could do less or more as the mood takes you. So really make sure that you get all the lovely onions and garlic and everything mixed up with those noodles. And with any luck, we're going to have um, some delicious rashes on hand. If you want to, it's not a bad idea to roast and grill the rashes, but it's kind of up to you. So grab a plate, any old plate will do. And the best way to handle a noodle stir fry really is with some tongs. If you wanted to add some mushrooms to this, you're more than welcome. So it depends how much you want to eat. Mmm, divine. And that is not a boring midweek meal. Enjoy. With a few interesting spices and sauces, pork rashes get a new lease on life. And served with this vegetable packed noodle stir fry, it's just marvelous. Yum.